I have a very important Bitcoin technical analysis for you today, which I can promise you right now, if you listen closely throughout this video, you're going to walk away not only more knowledgeable, but prepared and ready for the next best trade setup that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. And I mean, if we're going off the last video that I shared, I was explaining the importance of that big monthly level of support and how I was going to be buying the dip each step of the way, compounding into this trade for this bounce to the upside. And we can see how pretty perfectly, right? This monthly level right here was respected. We made our way down, we hit the monthly and we got the bounce. So it followed very nicely indeed the exact plan that I was laying out. And I see from the comments, a lot of people very happy with buying that monthly level at 62,700. Uh, <laughs> absolutely best trader this guy's ever seen. Incredible long plan. I see it all through the comments. Got the entry. Thanks to your free video. Thanks, Daniel. So yeah, that monthly level, as I was explaining, very, very important. And that is where we got this wonderful bounce. Okay, I was also explaining to you in that video of how this will be the make or break trade to see if I can continue 100% win rate. I will be talking you through this trade, how I've walked away with $600 of profit on that trade. And yes, the 50th trade 100% win rate continues. I'm looking forward to this video and I hope you are too. So let's begin. So yeah, why have I taken profits at these highs? Okay, so I was letting you know over on Twitter and of course, first and foremost to the champions, taken profit 65,400 on the conservative trading account. That's $600 total profit, 50th trade win and the 100% win rate continues. So what was here at 65,400? Why was this so important? And as you can see, it was the absolute high of the move, by the way, before this local downtrend. Uh, first of all, I want to explain obviously the compounding into this move because there is a lot you can learn from this. This is a fairly complex tactic. And basically the way I'm looking at this is I am expecting a pump, okay, from around the range low. Why? That is a major level of support. It's also a level where people are going to get faked out heavily. We'll show you some really lovely confluence that we had on this monthly, by the way. But really simply the game plan and the way I've managed this is starting with smaller orders and ending with bigger orders. The more that we drop, OK, the large my position size all contained, of course, within risk management. I had an invalidation, which was for me going to be losing the value area low. And that for me is where I would have closed out of that trade for a a loss. OK, it's as simple as that. In the end, we come down and we hit my final two buy orders, one off the anchored VWAP, one off the monthly level. And yes, they were my biggest orders within the compounding. OK, so I'm getting filled really nice, largest position sizes towards the bottom of the range here all around the monthly. And I had this order at the anchored VWAP. So I'm getting filled with over 50 percent here at the very, very low anchored VWAP and monthly. So I'm, of course, very pleased <laughs> with the way that the monthly acted as support. And this just goes to show you have to, of course, have a bit of confidence in your trading plan when you come down to support. It's like I was saying over on Twitter, I did make the comment, you know, does this drop scare you? You know, are you risking liquidation? Are you acting with no trading plan in fear? Well, if you are, you probably lost money. I was trading my plan that I shared with you all freely here on YouTube. OK, free video. I was sharing with you exactly what I was doing towards that monthly level of support as planned. I made the plan. I traded the plan. I bought heavily all around that monthly level of support. Why? Because I felt that this is going to be the area that if we're going to bounce, we're going to bounce from. Right. So for me, that was pretty clear. And that is why I had the biggest orders weighted towards that monthly level. Okay, uh, My final order would have been the value area low, which in the end I've cancelled. Why? Because we simply came up to this level of resistance where I have locked in a 100% take profit on this account. Okay, my aggressive account still has a long open, but on this conservative account, I recognize that is a key area of resistance. I'm expecting a retracement from there. Well, the retracement we did, of course, get. OK, we did get a uh, how much percentage here over a three percent drop from that exact high take profit. 
And now I want to be explaining what we're looking for next. So I will just say this, of course, first and foremost, the updates are always given to the champions first. When I'm looking at those major take profits, the exact game plan, you can always get that first within the champions group. But also here on YouTube, you can't, you can't deny I am giving you some pretty nice still game plans uh, ahead of time. So, you know, it's a win-win for everybody right now. Uh, so what are we looking for then next? OK, so we, of course, have seen a bounce from this monthly zone of support up to around 65 $600 current resistance. So in my opinion, what we have going on here is now a local consolidation towards the low of the range. And look at this wonderful confluence that we had, by the way. I'm going to, hopefully going to impress uh, with what we had with this, of course, local parallel channel. And this again was shared in previous videos. That's where I was looking for the range low. And of course, we all know where the range high is. So what did we have as confluence down here? We of course had the monthly zone of support. We had the monthly. We had really simply the range low. So I had this marked out. Look at this. That's the exact range low that I was expecting. In the end, the fake out wasn't quite so big, but we did get an SFP by a few dollars. So we swing failure pattern the range low. We hit the monthly. We hit the anchored VWAP. And then we also had this downtrending parallel channel, middle of the channel. And this is what I liked as confluence, to be honest with you. So high, low, high, low. And then here, we actually come into the partial rise off of 70,000 psychological. And then we come into the low of our local channel and the middle, okay, so the middle of this downward sloping channel once more. And we can see from history how well respected this middle of the channel is as resistance, 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 support, resistance, support, support once again. So that is just something that I personally really like to see as a trader, several different levels of confluence, all lining up around that big monthly level of support where I told you in advance, I'm gonna be looking, oh, well, I was gonna be logging the dip, I made that plan very clear. It was for my 100% win rate continue continuation i've hit that i've took profits and now what have we got going on next so as mentioned we are obviously now consolidating towards the low of the range and we have some key levels not so close to us okay so this monthly level for me now is tapped we do have an intraday ccv setup that you can be aware of ever so slightly uh, but we have that previous day value area low coming in at sixty three thousand dollars okay um not so important for me but something that you yeah, nevertheless you should be aware of right so we still have this sixty three thousand dollars for a potential retest at the moment it's looking like we can be forming some sort of impulse and now we got a bit of a ascending triangle i would always trade ascending triangles as a kind of a 50 50 play i would never be looking to buy the breakout of a triangle or short the breakdown i actually am a trader that will always look for the reverse and that means a fake out of the triangle high for a reversal or a fake out of that triangle low for this for the same reversal to the upside right so that's basically the way that I personally trade triangles. And that's the game plan that I can see here locally. This local triangle, again, this is for lower term time frame traders. Okay, that has to be made clear. It's for lower term time frame traders. But that's the more local pattern that we have going on with a clear, you know, horizontal resistance line building up higher lows. That is a ascending triangle. Um, but I would personally view this as 50-50. Also, we have to take into consideration here, this is a, a triangle formed after a, a local impulse to the downside. So we do know from, you know, <laughs> basically looking at how impulses work, this would be could be, well, could be looking at an ABC. So A, B, C, giving you another impulse down to $63,000, right? But again, I'm not trading this as a continuation pattern. I am absolutely simply looking at this as a, for me, current no trade zone, looking for the fake out either side of that triangle, okay? And if you followed me over the years, you'll know that's how I always trade triangles. I always go for the fake out, would never trade it as a simple triangle. Um, so that leaves us then with if we are going to get some continuation to the downside, next major level, of course, coming in at around 61. I want to just say 61,500. OK, uh, for me, major level, obviously, at that value area alone. So, yeah, give or take a few hundred dollars. That's a zone around 61, 600 few hundred dollars either side of it right that would be my key level for us towards the downside above us it's a little bit easier to define in my opinion uh because of course this uh, again if you've been following along you know how important to me is sixty-seven thousand five hundred. so 
we just have a lot of uh, confluence and resistance around 67.500. Okay, for me, that's such a massive level, um, which we would look for, of course, if we get start to get the reclaim of this, then I absolutely believe we can hit above $70,000. If we reject where from where we are here and we can't even get above, um, you know, 66k or we reject from 67,500, well, then overall, I would be looking for the continuation to the downside. OK, so this is like my game plan. I have. And also, I want to explain something to you that's very important. There are times where you can have very big confidence in trade setups, right? You can see the confluence. You understand the probabilities. You know that it has very nice invalidations for the stop losses. And there are times like this morning where there are no golden setups appearing to us. We've already tested the major level of support. It requires a little bit of patience, right? So you have to, as a trader, understand when you have golden trade setups, like in my opinion, we had on longing this dip down to the massive monthly level. And if anyone long that monthly level, like I know people did, they are making absolutely wonderful profits. But at the same time, you have to understand we could have hit the monthly. Yes, and we still could get a full reversal. But when you come up to important resistances, it never hurts to lock in profits. OK, and that's the main takeaway of this video understanding the game plan, following your plan, even while there's a lot of fear and emotion in the market, right? You still got to follow the trading plan that you have. And that's why you have stop losses and invalidations for if you're wrong on these trades. When you come up to resistance, understand when to be taking profits, not to be getting greedy. And, you know, this is why I'm, I'm out here sharing my biggest and best trades with you. Because first of all, I know I can help you. Second of all, I mean, the results are in front of you of what we can be doing. But third of all, you know, these trade setups, the way we're managing them are not the easiest to understand. So I just trying to come out here, give you some perspective, giving you, you know, a reality check of high probability trade setups and when you have to remain patient. For me right now, we have, yes, a lower term time frame triangle to trade, but this is a lower term time frame triangle. Um, from me, the next bigger trade would be coming off of a bigger drop down to around that value area low or a move to 67,500 from and for me I'm honestly viewing this as a bit of a 50-50 thus I do not have a golden setup here and thus it does require patience for one of those next bigger levels to be hit where I would get involved once again you know, final reminder, I will actually be trading this lower term time frame triangle because I like to trade the lower term time frames but for more the bigger term time frame perspective we are going to have to be waiting for uh you know really bigger levels to come into play so yeah i i hope that this video first and foremost has made sense to you you've understood the game plan you understood how the compounding strategy works why i have you know had my biggest orders at the monthly anchored vwap down here okay and how that perspective went in terms of you know the entry even though i can be looking for higher i still have to take profit at significant levels of resistance why because what we're building up here the lower we came we're actually building up more resistance than locally so it's a little bit of one of these again aggressive account can keep that long open conservative account well it's in the name conservative get take my profits look for the next setup and for me yeah that's the triangle here locally and um, bigger targets for the bigger swing trades. Yeah, going to have to be remaining a little bit patient here. So I will say this before I end. If you have enjoyed these videos, if you want to see these types of setups, again, if getting the updates, you know, half half 12 at night UK time, if you want to get those updates all time every day, um, then yeah, I am literally here every single day trading. And I will always give my updates first to the champions. I do have a champions live stream on Sunday where I will go over the next higher term time frame swing trade setups and of course we have daily updates throughout the days where we go over our game plan every day for the lower term time frames we have the live trading streams and of course the main focus the education i will teach you each step of the way how to find these confluences how to gain confidence and how to make wonderful profits in this market so yeah i'm glad you all enjoyed this uh i my personal self have locked in a take profit here aggressive account still running but um yeah it never hurts to take a little profit and enjoy your weekend thank you ever so much if you've enjoyed this video hit that like button share it with your friends share it with your family because these are the videos that will 
be helping you. If we get a next golden trade setup, I'll be letting you know. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more from myself, check out chartchampions.com membership. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day. And that is me signing out with a very proud and happy 100% win rate continuation. I do think that's uh, very nice indeed. So yeah, thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and I will see you over on the website if that's of interest, Chart Champions. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye.